Urinary Tract Infections by Katie Planner and Alyssa Polanco. Drop, 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 a poke, 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 poke. Urinary tract infections, also known as UTIs, occur when bacteria infects any part of the urinary system. We did our project on UTIs caused by Escherichia coli, which specifically targets the bladder. This infection is called cystitis. Here is a picture of a bladder with this infection. History! History. Urinary tract infections have been dated back to 1550 BC. Everest Papyrus from ancient Egypt did not know much about UTIs, but recommended using herbs as a treatment. Romans improved these treatments by using a more invasive method to explore this disease. An Arabian physician helped classify this infection using uroscopy. In the 19th century, people still did not discover that UTIs were caused by microorganisms, but it wasn't until the 1930s that antibiotics were used as a cure. Etiology! Urinary tract infections are caused by Escherichia coli entering the urethra and infecting the gastrointestinal tract. Sexual intercourse can increase the chances of obtaining a UTI. Women are more susceptible to getting UTIs because of the proximity of the anus and the urethra. Here is a picture of the microorganism E. coli. Pathogenesis! Some symptoms of the infection are Increased amount of pressure in the pelvic region and unpleasant feeling in the lower abdomen Uncomfortable constant urination And blood may be found in the urine Urinary tract infections most commonly occur in the bladder but can move up to the kidneys if you're not treated immediately. Once it enters the kidney, it can cause permanent damage. So treat your UTI as soon as possible. A method used to detect UTIs is cystoscopy, which uses a cystoscope to examine the urinary system and seek irregularities. Prevention! Make sure you drink an adequate amount of water so that bacteria can get eliminated from your body when urinating. Wipe from front to back. As you can see in the picture, the anus and the urethra opening are very close in proximity, and wiping back to front can cause bacteria to be forced into the urethra. Immediately after sex, it is recommended that you evacuate your bladder. Try not to use feminine products that may cause irritation to the genital area, such as powders, deodorant sprays, and douches. Campaign Zero is a public health campaign that helps inform people about hospital-acquired infections. They provide a checklist on actions to take in order to prevent nosocomial UTI. Some advice that this checklist includes are, every day ask if the Foley catheter can be removed, when no longer needed, ask the doctor for a written order to take it out. Ask about the cleaning plan. To prevent urine from going back into your loved one's body, keep an eye on the tube for kinks and tangles and straighten them. Get a nurse if you see the signs of chills, shivering, body aches, headaches, confusion, pain, or a burning feeling in the lower stomach area, lower back pain, or if there is blood in the urine bag. Treatment! Antibiotics are used to treat UTIs. The amount and strength of the antibiotic can vary depending on how severe the UTI is. Some drugs recommended are amoxicillin, macrodantin, and ciprofloxacin. Amoxicillin belongs to a group of antibiotics called penicillin. It works by inhibiting the bacteria's ability to form a cell wall. The cell wall is needed for the bacteria to survive because it prevents foreign, unwanted objects from entering the cell. Thus, the breaking down of the cell wall causes the death of the bacteria. Macrodantin capsules contain the active ingredient nitrofurantoin, which is a type of medicine called an antibiotic. The antibiotic damages the DNA and inhibits the reproduction and repair of the harmful bacteria 
which helps control the infection. Ciprofloxacin kills the bacteria by entering the cell and inhibiting DNA gyrase, an enzyme used to assist in replication and repairing of the DNA. The inhibition of this enzyme doesn't allow the bacteria to reproduce. The infection may take a few days to clear up, but make sure to completely take your entire prescription to ensure all bacteria has been cleared from the urinary system. Some people believe that cranberry juice can be a natural home remedy for UTI. Here is a video on how cranberry juice can inhibit UTIs. The most common cause of urinary tract infections is the bacteria Escherichia coli. Adhesion factors on the ends of the bacteria's fimbria attach to receptors on the bladder wall. This allows the toxins released by the bacteria to get close enough to cause inflammation and infection. It has been recently shown that compounds in cranberry juice called condensed tannins, or PACs, can help to promote urinary tract health. Condensed tannins attach to the adhesion factors on the bacteria, naturally flushing them out, which helps to cleanse and purify the body. Here is a chart showing infected urine samples over time using cranberry juice. As you can see, cranberry juice significantly lowers the percentage of infected urine samples over time. Hypothesis! We hypothesize that UTIs from E. coli are more commonly found in women because bacteria from the anus can easily travel to the urethral opening of the bladder. In a study researching correlation between gender and UTIs, it was found that 77.2% of females attained a UTI versus the 22.8% of males. There is a distinct difference between the two genders' chance of having a UTI, thus supporting our hypothesis. We also found that between 20% and 40% of women have been diagnosed with at least one UTI, showing this is a common infection in women. So be sure to pay attention to your urethral hygiene. Say bye to UTI!